Hello, I'm Richard Murphy. I want to explain what quantitative easing is. QE, as it's called, is a stupid process that the government has had to follow because of European law. In effect, what the government wants to do is simply borrow money from the Bank of England. That's what the actual outcome of QE is. It's like the government running an overdraft with the Bank of England. But European law says that no government is allowed to borrow money from its own central bank, which is what the Bank of England is in the UK, the bank that is owned by the government to issue money to everyone else except itself in law. So they have to go round the houses to achieve the result. How does that work? The government issues what are called bonds. The bonds are its debt. They sell those bonds to banks, insurance companies, building societies, pension funds and so on. And then the Bank of England has set up a new company called the Asset Purchase Finance Facility and the Bank of England creates money by lending it to the Asset Purchase Finance Facility, which then buys back the bonds that the government has sold into the financial markets. The net result of all that is that the Bank of England creates new money, literally on a keyboard, just types entries, that's all it does. There's nothing magic or surprising about this. It's exactly the same as happens if you went into a bank and asked for a loan. They create money by making loans. The Bank of England makes money in this case by creating a loan just in a rather larger amount, usually in sort of sums of around 100 billion pounds or so at a time. But they may create money and because the asset purchase facility buys back the government bonds, in effect, that money ends up in the treasury. Does that matter? No. Why should it? The government needs money. It can't get it from tax. If it tried to get it from tax, it would make the economy worse. And so when the economy is in a downturn, but when the economy needs more cash in it to keep the world going round, and because commercial banks aren't creating the money by making loans, because there is a downturn, then the Bank of England steps in and effectively lends the money to the government to put into circulation instead. And that's how we keep the economy going. It's not mysterious. It's not a dark art. There's nothing to worry about it. It's called QE. It sounds very complicated, but that's just because of European law, which we're going to carry on complying with after Brexit, I'm quite sure. And the net outcome is literally, effectively, an overdraft from the Bank of England to the government which never has to be repaid because when you own the bank, you don't have to repay it. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, I'm pleased. If you want to see other videos like this, there are links below this screen. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter as well, at Richard J. Murphy. Look at my blog, Tax Research UK. And if you'd like to donate because this video series is being largely paid for by donations. There is a donations button on, button on every single post on my blog. Thanks a lot.